In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up the boost timer on the Mine Energy Zappy. So this is just a quick video. Uh, one of the subscribers asked, how do you kind of schedule timing of charging using a Zappy? Um, there's two ways to do this. I'm going to show you both. One is using the app. If you've got the um, Mine Energy Hub, I think it's also going to apply for the Zappy Gen 2, but also how to do it on the Zappy as well. I do recommend doing it actually on the Zappy because sometimes the app tells you that it's made those changes and then you'll find out unfortunately that your car didn't charge and um, yeah, the charging didn't get um, set properly from the app. So the reason you might want to schedule uh, your boost timer is if you have a, a time of use tariff, so we have peak and off peak energy prices. So as mentioned in all my videos, I'm with Octopus Energy on the go tariff. So in between half past 12 and half past four in the morning, um, my, electric <laughs> my electricity is only five pence uh, per kilowatt hour. So it makes charging, you know, really cheap. It's one third of my usual daily cost. So that's why this is really handy. So from the My Energy app, you can open that up click on uh, the zappy icon go to boost timer and on mine you can see that i've already got those um, charging schedules set up for every day of the week already if you want to add a new one just click plus you can then um, change the duration time on the left and adjust the timing when it starts as well then just press monday tuesday wednesday thursday whatever day you want make sure that is highlighted then obviously you would press add and then that would be saved onto um, the, the chart. So again, I don't recommend using that, but if you do come and check out on the Zappy as well, make sure the setting has been applied. But now we'll look down on the Zappy and show you how to set up on there. Okay, so from the Zappy, you wanna push the down arrow and I'll go down to charge settings, press the tick and go down to your boost timer. And then you can see already here, I have mine set up to half past midnight, run for four hours on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I pretend I set up a new one. So just click on there, up and down to adjust the time. You can go down on the other side for the time here. Once that's done, it move you across to the duration. So you just set that to however long you want in 15 minute intervals. So that's done, you come along to each and every single day. So you're just gonna push up or down to turn off every single day. You just keep on scrolling through every single one of those to get to the end and then you're done. It's as simple as that. Other things you might wanna check is um, preconditioning. So you have a couple of options in here, off, normal or full power. So depending on what, how your car works, if you want to be able to kind of start preconditioning from the app, um, you may want to mess around with precondition to make sure that it's going to pull from the grid as opposed to using up the battery power on your car in the morning when you want to warm it up. So that's it, really simple, setting up um, boost timer to schedule your off-peak charging you might and zappy hope it helped leave any comments down below if you have them and i'll do my best to answer them thanks for watching this video a thumbs up would be really appreciated if you're interested in other geek type videos please consider subscribing to spectrum geeks why not also follow us on facebook instagram and twitter and before you leave why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest thanks again for watching